Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading. Matt Jess is here for Tackle Trading to bring you a video on the definition of a trading gap. Now, a trading gap is a gap on a chart that is simply an empty space on the chart where the opening price today is different from the closing price yesterday. Now, gaps are very common in the sense that they do occur fairly frequently. Many things could impact a gap. It might, it might be an earnings report. It might be an economic report. You might have had good news, bad news. You might just have a supply and demand shift and the market maker has to you know, correct it at the opening price the next day. Some of these gaps can cause new trends. Other gaps we really don't even care about. There are four types of gaps I want to discuss in this video. First is the common gap. Second is the breakaway gap. Third is the runaway gap. And then fourth is the exhaustion gap. Now, a common gap is just that. It, it happens frequently. It happens all the time. It's typically just the shift in supply and demand from yesterday to today, and it gaps up. Now, typically, though, it doesn't gap very far. It gaps less than 1% in a, in a very, very you know boring market, stagnant market. It might only gap 0.25%, but it doesn't gap very much. The, the, the gap usually fills during the actual trading day. For example, you have a gap right there, you have another gap here, you have a gap right there, you have a gap right there. We don't care that much about common gaps. They happen, they come, they go, we move on. Now, the second type of gap is that of a breakaway gap. Now, there's two things that happen in a breakaway gap. The first is the trend previous to the gap is neutral. And as you can see in ADM, Archer Daniels, that's exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing a neutral condition. Now, this stock can break out or it can break down. If it breaks out of resistance, that's a bullish breakout. If it breaks down out of support, that is a bearish breakdown. In this example, the stock breaks out of the neutral condition, breaks down underneath support, and then continues to move in the direction of the gap, thus uh, starting a new bearish downtrend, which is a really good opportunity to short this stock. If it breaks up, that's a good opportunity to buy the stock. Now, the third type of gap is that of a runaway gap. Now, a runaway gap and a breakaway gap are similar, as most gaps do. They have similarities to them. The difference between the runaway gap and the breakaway gap, however, is the trend previous to the gap is not neutral. It is in a trending condition. It can be bullish, it can be bearish, but is in a trending condition. Now, here on ALGN, we are seeing a bullish uptrend. The stock then breaks out of, uh, breaks out of the trend, continues to move in the direction of the trend, and that is a typically very strong buying signal. The fourth type of gap is an exhaustion gap. And this one gets a little confusing because it looks a lot like a runaway gap in the sense that the trend before the gap is a strong bullish uptrend. However, after the gap, it starts to show a lot of weakness and it starts to show slowing momentum and a lot of small candles. And a lot of times that creates this exhaustion gap where the gap will then fill and then start a new bearish downtrend. Thank you for joining us here at Tackle Trade. This is Matt Justins. I hope you learned something from our little video on what is a trading gap.